What's up, everyone? This is Kiva, artist, producer, and Ableton certified trainer. I'm here today with Pure Mind to share one of my favorite personal techniques for using Ableton's drum racks. In the early 1980s, when MIDI was first developed, one of the things that they came up with was a standardized system for electronic drum kits. They called it General MIDI for Drums. Basically, they selected certain notes on the piano and said that certain notes would always be assigned certain sounds within the drum kit. For example, looking at this empty drum rack right now, C1 would always be the kick drum. D would always be a snare. F sharp would always be a closed hi-hat and so on. You can find full charts online that will show you the breakdown of all the notes for general MIDI. There are still kits inside of Ableton that utilize this same system. For example, here's a kit inside of Ableton called Kit Session Dry. If I play C, there's the kit. I play D, there's the snare, F sharp, hi-hat. Here's another one of Ableton's kits, the 808 Core Kit. Same thing, kick on C, snare on D, close hi-hat on F sharp. Now, in many ways, that original general MIDI system is very convenient because if you make a beat, like here's a basic break beat with kick, snare, hi-hat. If you want to switch kits with general MIDI kits, all you have to do is load the new kit and the note that plays the kick is still going to be a kick, the snare is still the snare, and so forth. Now, I want to show you a completely different way that I utilize a lot in my own work. Even though I do like general MIDI drums and I've built plenty of kits that follow that protocol, I came up with a system of my own many years ago that I still like for getting very interesting drum patterns. Basically, I like to make patterns sometimes where I'm using more than one kick or more than one snare. I might stack or layer the sounds. I might make patterns that involve many, many sounds of a certain type. So I developed a system where I would just make specialized drum racks. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to come here to this track. I have an empty drum rack. I'm going to go to my browser where I've made some folders with different one shots, different types of sounds. Here's a bunch of kicks. Rather than just bringing one kick in for a kit, I'm going to take in this whole folder. I'll just select one, hit command A, and I'm going to drag them all in at once. I just brought in dozens of different kicks. Now, if I run my finger across my MIDI keyboard, I've got access to dozens of kicks. I'll go ahead and label this up. Call it the Kiva Kick Rack 2021. And if you want to save it as a preset, you could just hit that button right there. It's going to allow you to save it. Now, I like to make ones like this for all the different sounds. So maybe we can make one now for some, some snares. I'll go ahead and grab all these snares, drag them in, label it up. And then I could go ahead and save it. So I've built kits like this for all my different parts hand claps rim shots, percussion, sound effects, all kinds of things. And I find that it's a really cool technique because I'm able to now access dozens of sounds at once. Just by dragging my finger across, I can find sounds that catch my ear. And I can start playing patterns where I'm using multiple snares or kicks. I can do things like roll three or four of my fingers across keys to get a stacked sound. And it just gives you some really, really interesting possibilities. I want to show you a little bit of how I utilized it in some of my production. This is a song from one of my albums that's called Light of Day. And I used a custom kit that I made for the claps. I actually made two different Kits loaded with hand clap sounds to make a really, really wide, loose uh, clap sound, almost like you were at a party with dozens of people clapping along with the song. 
let's check out a little bit of this song and hear how it sounds in action. Be sure to watch all the different cells going off in these two different clap kits. Here it goes. That's just a little bit of how I use these specialty drum racks to make some really exciting beats. Try making a few of your own with your favorite kicks, snares, crash cymbals, percussion, and so on. It allows you to do some really interesting things by using more than one sound that you can't do with a standard kit. I hope that this technique helps spark some new ideas the next time you sit down in the studio. Thanks for checking my tutorial. And if you like my teaching style and you'd like to do some private one-on-one -on -one online lessons, I'm available through Pyramind's mentorship program. Check out the link in the video description to book your first session. Until next time, this is Kiva signing off. Go make some great beats and I'll see you next time. Are you looking for production guidance and direct feedback on your tracks? Do you want one-on-one -on -one help with a mix, music theory, production, or creative workflow? Then book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship session today with one of our knowledgeable industry professionals at Pyramind.com.